So you paid the supplier the wrong amount. Maybe you paid them twice, maybe you just paid them the wrong amount. Perhaps they've sent you a credit note and then a refund. So you've got all this money going in and out of your bank account. You don't know how to match them all together. You don't know how to deal with it in zero. So in this video, there are four scenarios that you may find yourself in and how you deal with it in zero. So in this situation, we've received a credit note from one of our suppliers, Majestic Contracting, and it was for a refund for supply of goods. So previously we'd bought something from Majestic Contracting, we had to return it. They've sent us a credit note for £450 and they've also refunded £450 back to us into our bank account. So the first thing you'd want to do is put the credit note onto zero. So you would do that by going into Majestic Contracting and add a supplier credit note onto zero, put all the relevant details on and it looks like this. If you go to your bank reconciliation, we can see here on the 21st of January, the Majestic Contracting sent us the refund of £450. Now, unfortunately, you can't match a credit note that's been posted on zero to a refund coming in. There's no way of going into your bank feed and matching it, even if you search by the amount, even if you tick show spent items, even if you search for Majestic, all the things you would normally do in your bank feed, unfortunately zero bank feed does not pick up credit notes on this screen. So what you have to do, you have to go onto the credit note and mark this as being paid. So down the bottom we can see a section here, receive a cash refund, we have received it. If we go to our bank account, we can see that we received it on the 21st of January. So on the credit note, you'd put the amount you received and then we got a full refund. This was 450 pound. The date we received it, 21st of January. And then the bank account that they paid that money into. So in this situation, they paid it to our business bank account. So on our credit, no, we want to allocate it to this one here, the business bank account. You can put a reference if you want in here, but that's not required. Then you set select add refund. So what that then does, that marks that credit note as being paid. But the next step we want to then do is when you now go to the bank reconciliation screen, if we just do an F5 to refresh that page, and then we go and find that transaction, we can now see a green match. So the bank feed is now able to say, ah, I've had a refund applied to a credit note and I've now got some money in my bank account that matches the amount and matches the supplier. Therefore, it suggested a match. We're happy with the match in this case. It is for the right supply. It's for the right amount. And we're simply going to click Okay, so in this next scenario, we've got a situation where we've paid one of our suppliers twice in error. So we've got Smart Agency, we've got a bill from them, SM0195, that's the bill reference, and it's for £2,000. If we look on our bank feed, we can see that we made a payment to Smart Agency on the 10th of December, and we also paid them again on the 12th of December. And then on the 14th of December, after we'd phoned them up and said, sorry, I've paid you twice, they've kindly given us a refund. So what we do want to do is mark the invoice pay as being paid once, because that did happen. So Zero's already matched it for us here. So let's say OK on that one. So now we're left with the one amount that's overpaid and the refund. So because they're both still on your bank feed, you haven't dealt with them yet. Quite simply from the bank feed, you can create a receive money and a spend money transaction to clear these two off. So you just type in the name of the supplier, smart agency, what was the category? Now let's say smart agency is a direct expense. 
we type in here whatever it is we bought from them and there would be no VAT on this particular situation and then you would click OK and then on the refund you do the exact opposite so smart agency you'd still code it to direct expenses and in this situation no VAT I'm saying no VAT in this situation because I'm assuming that we're not VAT registered just for the purpose of this video we're not talking about VAT so you could just code both the money going out and the money going in onto that supplier to the same category and it would net each other off there'd be nil effect but let's assume that you're much quicker with your bookkeeping and you actually clear down the spend money transaction on the 10th of December long before you knew that there would be a refund coming so what you'd want to do you'd come on your bank feed and see you spent £2,000 to smart agency but it's not come up green so there's nothing to match it to and you go into find and match and you type in smart it's not bringing anything up so you think well okay I'll type in the amount you can search by amount or by name and it's not bringing anything up so then you think well let me go and have a look at the smart agency account in zero ah and then you realize what you've done you realize that there was one bill that bill has already been marked as paid and therefore you've paid it twice so how do you deal with this payment so this is actually an overpayment to smart agency we've overpaid them by two thousand pound so you go into find a match we're going to ignore section one the find and match section and we're going to create a new transaction so down in section two we're going to click on new transaction and it's a new spend money but we want to change it we don't want a direct payment we want to change it to click on the drop down arrow an overpayment so we have overpaid smart agency by two thousand pound we could put a reference in here sm0195 just to remind ourselves what the overpayment was for and you'd save transaction it'll come up green and you select OK so we've now phoned smart agency and said really sorry we've paid you twice can you please send us a refund and a few days later on the 14th of December they paid your refund so if we go back to the smart agency account in zero if I just do an F5 refresh let's look at the situation on their account we can see that we've got an overpayment that has got a status of a waiting payment they've now sent us that refund we've seen it on the bank account that's coming in so what you would do you'd go into the overpayment and down at the bottom you'd enter the details in the receive a cash refund section so what date did you receive the cash refund it was on the 14th of December which bank account did they pay into a business bank account you can put a reference if you like but you don't need to click add refund and now if we go back to the bank reconciliation screen if you press s5 to f5 sorry to refresh the screen we can now see that zero has found a match it's got a refund for two thousand pound for smart agency on the 14th of december and you would just click okay and in this scenario we've got a situation where we hired a company called photo center to do some video filming for us and they required a deposit of 1200 pound up front before they would start work so we've paid them a 1200 pound deposit the actual work cost us 500 pound so they've sent us a 500 pound invoice and then once the work had been finished they sent us the balance between the deposit that we'd sent them the 1200 pound and the 500 pound that the work actually cost us so they then sent us the 700 pound back so how would you deal with all of this in zero so let's just think about the flow of money how did that money flow out of our account 
and back into our account. So the first thing that happened was we paid them a £1,200 deposit. So let's deal with that first. We've got no invoice at this point. We simply had to pay them a £1,200 deposit. So in Zero, you want to create an overpayment on their account. So we can see it on the bank feed here. Here's the £1,200 that we paid them. You go into Find a Match, and then you scroll down to Section 2 here, and we're going to create a new transaction, a new spend money. And then on this drop down arrow here where it says direct payment, we want to change that to an overpayment. And we can put a reference here of deposit. And then you would save that transaction. It's going to turn it green. So we just click yes, okay. They've done the filming. We're happy with the day. And they've then sent us the bill for 500 pound. So we would put that on zero in the normal way. Here it is, 500 pound bill. We need to mark that bill as being paid, but we also need to deal with the refund of the £700. So the first thing we want to do is mark this bill as being paid. So if we go to Photo Center's account, we'll see the two things that have happened so far. And those two things are, we sent them a deposit of £1,200 and they've sent us an invoice for £500. So we now want to allocate some of that deposit money to the 500 pound bill that they sent us. So by doing that, we just click into the overpayment and then up the top here on overpayment options, if you click on the drop down, you can allocate the credit. And we're going to allocate 500 pound towards the bill. Click allocate credit. We can now see if we just go into their account, we'll see that the bill has been fully paid and now we've got this overpayment of £700 that is still outstanding on the account. A few days later, they then send us the £700 refund. So what we would do, we would go into the overpayment and the remaining £700, we would say, right, we've now received our cash refund. Let's check the date we received it. It was the 15th of January. So we can say we received it on the 15th of January. We received the refund into our business bank account and we would just click add refund. Now, if we go back to our bank feed, click F5 to refresh. Zero has then made a match. It said, I'm expecting a refund of 700 pound for photo center. I can now see that amount coming into our bank account. It suggested a match and we're happy that it is a match and we just click okay. Now, if we go back to Photo Center's account, let's just check that everything looks as it should. So we've got the bill that's been fully paid and we've got the overpayment that has been fully paid. So that is how you would deal with that scenario. And the last one we're going to look at is where you've overpaid a supplier in error but you use that supplier all the time. So you're happy just to leave the overpayment on their account. And next time they send you a bill, you will just reduce the payment that you send them the following time. So we've got a payment here to Smart Agency for £4,500. Now Zero hasn't made a match because it can't find a bill for £4,500 to Smart Agency. So let's go and have a look what is on zero. So let's do a search for smart agency. Oh, and that's when we realize the bill to smart agency was only 4,000 pound and we paid them 4,500 in error. So what we do want to do is mark this bill as being paid. So just tick it in a normal manner, but then we've got a 500 pound overpayment we need to deal with. So you scroll down slightly to section two under new transaction, we'd create a spend money, transaction and then we want to turn this from a direct payment into an overpayment and zero has worked out that the overpayment amount was for 500 pound because we'd already said well, we're paying the invoice which was for 4000 pound therefore the extra 500 pound must be an overpayment select save now we've got a match so it's going to mark invoice 796 is being paid and it's going to create an overpayment 
a £500 on Smart Agency's account. So let's click OK. Now if we go and look for Smart Agency, we can see that there's an overpayment of £500 on their account and we're happy to leave it there. We've spoken to them about it. Next time they send us a bill, we're just not the £500 off the next bill and we'll pay them slightly less next time. So there's lots of different scenarios there. A combination of those different scenarios and the different ways of dealing with them will hopefully capture everything you encounter. If you have another scenario that I haven't covered, please leave me a comment below and I can do a video specifically to you for you to help you with that. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful and please do like and subscribe to my channel for more updates on how to do your bookkeeping and how to use Xero.